Hi guys, welcome to Duke Fam Photography. My name is Duke Fam, and you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter at dukefamphoto.com. So today I'm gonna show you two new toys that I just bought from Chida Stand. Let's get started. The first one that I want to show you is the Cheetah Quick Soup Low 26. You know what? When I first got it out of the box, it's, I was really surprised because uh, it comes with a new case. You want to see here? This is a new case. It's awesome. You, the older version of uh, all of the Cheetah Quick Soup Low, that's a very uh, soft mesh like that. You can see here. And uh, the new one with the zipper on the side like that, and the shoulder strap that you can carry on the location very easy like this, or you can uh, you know adjust it longer and put that on the shoulder like this. Let's open it. Oh, I like to open on the side like that with the zipper. Yeah, like usually it comes with the, uh, um, this is the, uh, the grid. And I think this is a diffuser. Okay. And here, that the 26 itself. Okay. Like all of the other um, uh, quick soup bowl uh, version. Uh, this is a very quick setup that you just pull this in the middle like that and then BAM! It's done. Oh my god, I like this side a lot. Um, it's come with the uh, beauty disc place in the middle right here. So basically, it works just like the beauty disc, but it's with the shape you can see on the side like that. It's deeper than the regular beauty disc. And uh, with this side, I think it's very easy for you to carry and um, set up on location. To me, I can use, um, I think I'm gonna use this one and um, the Max 20, the Max 20 with me on location. This one I can go very close to uh, the subject and in some case that I need to set up the light far away from the subject, I'm gonna use um, the uh, Mark 20, which is can throw the light further than uh, the quick soup bowl. But so the next one I'm gonna show you is called the Cheetah Quick 9 by 35. This is a strip box, but it's a smaller version. Uh, again, that this is a new series from uh, uh, Cheetah Stand, and uh, thank you for that because all of them come with the new cases. Uh, very strong case, very easy to carry on for location, for transport station. And here we go. Open the zipper. And again, the diffuser. Uh, the grid. She does then make a very good grid. You should use it because it directs your light very well. And here we go, the ship box itself. And just like all of the others, uh, you know, which shop box from uh, Chia Stand, you only need just open it like this and pull up, push all the way in and lock it. And boom, just take a couple of seconds to set it up, right? And then you can put the diffuser, uh, the grid on the uh, on the front, like this one, okay? It comes with the two diffuser, the internal one and the external one, right here, okay? I had the biggest version of the quick ship up, which is the quick trial by uh, 55 right here, and this is a smaller one. Um, why do I need a smaller one? Why not the big one? Uh, I usually say, um, the bigger, the better for the life of the soft. But 
Yeah, but in some cases, especially when I shoot on location, like some uh, living room, uh, for example, uh, we don't have that much space uh, to set up the light, so when it, we had with the smaller uh, version of the ship box, it would come in very handy to set up, very easy to set up. And when I shoot in the studio, um, sometimes I want to set up one light um, overhead right here for the hair light and go all over about the shoulder. But the, um, it's going to be all the way up to the ceiling. So if I go with the, uh, the big uh, strip box, sometimes it's too heavy to, to hold it on that position. So if I have a smaller one like this and put the grid on, I can very easy to put it on the top behind the models and create very nice lighting for the uh, hairline and the shoulder. And um, yeah, that much safer than uh, to use the bigger one. And by the way, uh, I have the uh, uh, possible uh, speed ring on this one because in my studio I use both uh, Einstein's uh, possible uh, light like Einstein, Ali and B, and uh, uh, also the Goldux uh, 8600. So with four screw right here, you very easy and quick to take all the way off and then put the another speed ring in here, screw it in, and very easy. It takes about like one minute to change the speed ring if you want to. So if you like my video, just give me a like and uh, subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for the next video that I'm going to show you more about how to use all of the uh, soft boxes that I have. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.